I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. So guys, no handlebars, make it. I don't usually do this much, no but I'm making a video response on stupid 17-year-old guy decapitated by Batman at Six Flags. To start this off, I was actually going to go to Six Flags that day that this incident happened, but I actually was in White, I went to White Waters, which is a theme park near the Six Flags there, it's a water park, and uh, I was, I ended up going to Six Flags the next day, and there's a bunch of fuss over done, and I've been seeing all these people, uh, video responses, talking about how he's an idiot, or he's retarded, he's jumping the fences, and, and yeah, I mean, he jumped two fences, not one, he jumped two fences, and got decapitated, and you know, there's signs, I mean, it's a dumb mistake, we all make mistakes, who, have you, anybody watching this video has made a mistake, I promise, 100%, his mistake cost him his life, it sucks, but, could have been, I mean, could have made smart decisions, we all do something that, I mean, you think, what an idiot, why is he going to do something that threatened his life, but, we don't, I mean, if you think about it, we're, everybody, your, your life is in danger every day, you get in a car and ride down the road, you're in a two-ton hunk of metal going down the road at 50 miles per hour with another hunk of metal coming at the road at 50 miles per hour, whatever, I mean, yeah, I know, but, I know it sounds stupid, but, he just made a mistake, I mean, shit, what can you do about it? But, uh, the guy he was there with, uh, his church, they were having, they had a little field trip or something like that. And, uh, they, when church groups go there, they break into groups and go to different rides or whatever. And, uh, what had happened, they had left the park, they had actually went out in the park, went in the parking lot and had lunch. And, supposedly, uh, it was him and his buddy left behind and the, their group had went in. And they decided they wanted to get in the park. And, uh jumped the fences and got in. His buddy went in too, but didn't nothing happened to him and and he got hit by the ride or whatever. Some people say he got hit by the hot get hit he was looking for his hat, that's what they say. That he dropped his hat and was going to get it. That's not true, that's a rumor. CNN, uh this might be enough this might be true, I don't know, uh said that he was trying to get to the ride faster, but that wouldn't make sense because he was outside the park getting in, but you know, whatever I mean. It's a mistake. So it bad that it had to end that way. Don't, I mean, don't be making comments saying, uh, "Oh, what an idiot! What what would you be doing?" I mean, it's a damn, it's a mistake. I mean, it's real bad. I feel. I don't pray for his family. I know it's real hard for them, and it's kind of. I can kind of understand them suing them, but they had signs saying danger. That I mean, come on. I mean, you gotta be common since you're 17, but. It's just, a, it's just one of those situations. I mean, they're going to sue Six Flags, and Six Flags going to pay them X amount of dollars just to get it over with. So, I mean, it's one of those situations. No handlebars. I can ride my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars.